Well, the holidays are over and it's back to the grind, which means it's a great time to start thinking about a fun vacation. Midwest Living Magazine is offering you a chance to win a trip to one of seven amazing destinations in their new Dream Trips Getaway Sweepstakes. Editor-in-Chief Trevor Mears has a look at some of the fascinating places you can go. In Northeast Ohio, Canton is known best for being the home of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. If you're a sports fan, or even if you're not a sports fan, it's definitely something to check out. You can go and see the bus of all the heroes of the NFL throughout time. There's holographic experiences where you can sit in a locker room with people like Joe Namath. But while you're in town, there's also an amazing downtown that a lot of people haven't been to before. The Canton Museum of Art is full of great works. They have murals. There's also some luxury stays there at a place called Gervasi Vineyard. They have suites and villas you can stay in. They also have a new distillery called the Still House where you can sample local spirits. And they also do craft cocktails and a cigar bar during the evenings with live music. Galena, Illinois is a classic, historic small town along the Mississippi River in the western side of Illinois. And Galena is known for more than 100 shops on its historic Main Street. It has two great resorts in town. There's the Chestnut Mountain Resort where you can ski. There's also the Eagle Ridge Resort, which has a ton of outdoor activities and a great spa to check out, especially during the wintertime. It's a cozy place to go. Galena also is known for its history. Ulysses S. Grant has a house there that you can tour, and they have great weekends coming up throughout the winter. They have a chocolate and coffee and champagne weekend coming up. They have a Mardi Gras event that takes place in March. So Galena is a great escape with a variety of lodgings, shopping activities, and outdoor stuff you can take part in. Ashtabula County, Ohio is a long running resort area just northeast of Cleveland along Lake Erie. People like John Rockefeller, Henry Ford used to have their weekend escapes there. And 2019 is a great time to go because one of the oldest resorts called Geneva on the Lake is celebrating its 150th anniversary in 2019. So it's a great time to check out what so many people have known about this area for so long. There are a lot of wineries in Ashtabula County. You can easily visit a dozen or more in a weekend. It's also really well known as one of the great covered bridge destinations in all of America. They have 19 covered bridges you can visit, including the longest one in the country. And for dining, the harbor on the lake is a fantastic place to go and eat some of the fresh catches of the day, like walleye coming off Lake Erie, brisket, barbecue, and many other great meals on the waterfront. The Hocking Hills in Southern Ohio are a part of Ohio that a lot of people don't even know exist, but it's on the edge of the Appalachians. It's rolling hills and forests, and it's an amazing outdoor destination. It's full of hiking trails. There are a lot of zip lines. Hocking Hills State Park is there and it has rock formations with names like Ash Cave and Whispering Cave and Conkles Hollow and there are trails that lead through all of these places. There are a load of camping options, there are glamping options if you want something a little more comfortable, there's cabin rentals, there's all kinds of places to stay. And you definitely should check out the John Glenn Astronomy Park. John Glenn the astronaut was originally from Ohio and they have a new dark sky park where you can go and look at the night sky through telescopes and learn about the stars that you're seeing. And there's live music at night that gives a real great taste of this part of the country. You go to the Hocking Hills Brewing Company and the Opera House in Stewart. You can hear local bands on many nights out of the week and get a real taste of what the sound of Southern Ohio is. Well, for more information on these amazing destinations and your chance to win a dream getaway, go to MidwestLiving.com. You can enter daily from now through February 21st. Midwest Living is published by the same company that owns KCTV5, the Meredith Corporation. We'll reveal the final three dream destinations tomorrow.